Good job, Tana. Good job. That was good. Well done! Good job! You got a little excited there, which is good. That's fine. That means you feel good about the idea of that person. <laughs> so, we're starting off with treats, but we might do them less and less. Wow, good job, or at least I'll make her wait a little bit more. Good. I want her to feel like they may or may not come, the treats, they may or may not appear. Um, I just know that they do appear after I do something good. Doesn't necessarily have to be right away. Because I'm not training her to focus, I'm training her to just be. I want her to just... Uh, be okay with whatever is going on around her. I want her to feel good So the treats are more for her to feel and continue feeling good and letting her know that she's done something well But I'm not necessarily asking for her to focus on me necessarily because she's quite good. She's able to do that I know that much and um, She's also able to just be which in, in some ways it might be tougher Because sometimes just being doesn't necessarily mean there's treats sometimes focusing directly means that there are gonna be treats but we're gonna start with just being. Let's go, let's walk. Let's try a few distractions while there aren't people. Oh, that's good. I can still give her uh, affection. That's also a great reward as well. but we want people. We want to work around people and other distractions, but mostly people, maybe even dogs as well. So I'll let her sniff a little bit there. And then we'll head outside. Okay, let's go. There's someone here. Wow, good job. I don't have any food. We're gonna slowly wean her out of treats, at least for this exercise. Um, she's she's doing a little bit too well, <laughs> actually, where um, I don't feel like I need her to uh, practice focusing. I need her to practice just not jumping. And, and normally we don't do things that way because we need to replace one behavior with the other in a clear way at least where okay I, I know that i can't jump but let me focus on on something else but in her case i think she's able to simply not jump she doesn't have to have a replacement behavior for that and that's only a testament to how smart she is and how capable she is so meaning that we're not if we're not using a replacement behavior there's nothing else that i need to reinforce other than her choosing to not jump and I'm happy doing that with, with my, um, with my affection, with just walking, and that's a very mature behavior. A lot of older dogs are able to do that more easily, with time. But Tana is clearly incredibly smart, incredibly capable, learns super fast. And that's only, 
that's only really the, the beginning for her. She's going to be capable of doing so much more. And right now we're just walking. I should mention that she's also, of course, uh, right either at the start or the middle of her fear period. So I think that's also going to play a role quite a bit. Oh, these are strong smells that she's choosing to walk past. That's beautiful. I am going to reward that. Tana, over here. There's quite a lot happening right now. If she wasn't in her fear period, I think would be fine just continuing to strut along but because there was a strong smell that she didn't even feel the need to go towards with the garbage and the child near us uh, crying a bit but yeah she's doing fine while also being through her fear period she's a little bit um, odd a little bit skittish in certain scenarios if something sudden happens I wouldn't be surprised that she might get a little jumpy whereas in the past that hasn't really been the case but that's normal as uh, puppies go through adolescenthood and into adulthood is a bit of an adjustment period if we keep things positive she'll be just fine so that's exactly what i'm doing now <laughs> sorry okay this got more difficult because she said hello but that's good because it's letting me know we have a bit of a limit where it, it starts to get a little bit tougher for her and it makes perfect sense someone is saying hi and i haven't put the the label that says give me space because i want people to say hi to her and for us to have something to work on so in that case where i can see she's gonna have a tough time with that then i can replace that behavior with her focusing on me that's why I just got her to, to walk away from now. I wasn't expecting that person to say hello, so I wasn't as prepared as I would have liked to be right there and then. Um, but at least I got to see what Tana's limit is as far as, okay, if people aren't engaging with me, I'm actually going to do this pretty easily. I'm able to, to keep on walking. But it's when they engage with her, it's going to be tough and rightfully so. So we'll work, our way, we'll work our way there. Right now, we'll focus mostly on just walking past people that are not necessarily going to say hi. And then we'll focus a little bit more on the potential of people saying hello and trying to ignore that but that is a big order in itself it's a tall it's a tall order it's a big ask so we'll see how how it goes for now we just want to walk we want to keep things light well, there's a lot of kids around here so I don't think they're gonna try to say hello but still good for them to just walk near them and not jump and not feel the need to do anything more than just be uh, social around them just be around them just keep on walking being with me around them you can tell she's very attentive to what's going on you might want to give people a bit more space good she went right with me i'm gonna reward that Tana. but i'm keeping the rewards quite uh few and far in between i want her to just enjoy being with me. Maybe let's get a little bit closer. So you saw she waited there beautifully with me. I'm also giving her a lot of trust. I'm not holding on to the leash. It is clipped to me, so she's not gonna be going anywhere, but she does have quite a bit of room here that I'm letting her play with. I trust her a lot. And I know so long as they're not saying hi to her, and I, I'm hoping that they will also ask, but even then, she's a friendly pup. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Um, so it'll be a positive experience regardless. But of course, we're working on not jumping. So I'm trusting that they won't go towards her um, without asking first but I'm also expecting the same from her like she's very engaged very very engaged <laughs> let's reward that it's it's quite a lot for her and in a good way she's not stressed or anxious or anything she's just very interested in all the children and children are very interesting they can be unpredictable sometimes not in a bad way just maybe too much for a dog to know what to do exactly but for now we're just gonna watch we might get a little bit close again i am working close to children so i want to keep that in mind they don't know tana oh she heard her name and came all reward for that that's fine we have more kids coming maybe we'll get a little bit closer i do not want to scare anybody so if we we're dealing with only adults we'd get a bit closer but we are dealing with children but children are also very exciting so keeping a, dis a distance that's doable for tana is also key
<laughs> I probably should have gotten the label that says in training, but uh, that would have made some adults um, feel as though they can't say hi to her, like the one did earlier, and I'm happy she did because we got to see how Tana would do, and I do want people to say hi to her. I do want people to feel like they can say hello, and then it's on me to guide Tana accordingly. Maybe a lick as opposed to a, a jump, um, but we'll work our way there. For now, we're just gonna hang out near kids. We're pretty close. Maybe a little bit, it'll be closer. Yeah, definitely interesting for her. Even if she does, does not necessarily get to practice, uh, let's reward this. If she doesn't get to practice not jumping on kids because kids, even if you tell them do this or don't do that when it comes to a dog, they may not always listen themselves. So um, when it comes to children, I don't need her to, to be completely um, devoid of any kind of feelings towards kids. So jumping usually it's an indicator that she's feeling happy, excited. So it's not the worst thing. But if I want her to create any kind of association or maintain any kind of association is that children are fine. They're nothing to be worried about. They are something that means positivity, happiness. And that's what we're building here. That's why I'm giving her a few more treats and I'm letting her just be, just walk around. She's seeing them pass by and now she's uh, lurking around a little bit more without necessarily having to watch them. So the more I can create positive situations with children, that's a place to start. With adults, we can work towards the jumping a little bit more, but with kids, I know a lot of dogs that unfortunately have a difficult time being around them in a calm way, let alone uh, not jumping or maybe even barking or God forbid lunging. But in this case where Tana is a little bit unsure, she may not necessarily jump at kids, but if she is a little unsure or hasn't yet fully learned that kids always mean good things, Tana, over here, <laughs> then it's definitely worth our time to keep socializing her to the idea, the sounds, the, the sights, maybe even the smell, of course, of children as being a good thing. So mission accomplished right now she's feeling good she's feeling fine and all the kids just came and walked past we're gonna keep on walking a bit more Tana, let's go you have purrs on your I'll get it for you I'll get it for you don't get them in your mouth silly we'll try to avoid them come on <laughs> That she's curious, but she was in no, in no way trying to pull or jump at them. Really, it has only been the one time where the the nice woman wanted to say hello to her, and then Tana was like, "Oh, sure, great," which again is normal. It's pretty much expected in in that scenario. Tana, let's keep going. Let's walk a little bit more. Um, it's more than okay, and as you can as you can see in, in in the video here, if she is not being engaged with, she's also not engaging, which is ultimately what we're asking out of dogs, right? We want them to give space. We want them to respect other people's space and and time. And so, if people are doing that for her, she's doing the exact same thing. And not that the other person wasn't respecting Tana's space, but the other person did invite Tana into her space by saying hello. And of course, Tana's response was a jump, which is very common very common with puppies very common with the with the breed uh, especially coming from the poodle this breed wants to do a lot of things with their body they're happy moving around being happy-go-lucky and it is how they communicate that they are feeling happy-go-lucky so um, that is definitely something we can still of course work on having her be on all four when someone wants to greet her uh, but I know one of the concerns is the pulling towards people which can then lead to jumping but we have not yet seen that we have seen her be quite engaged with the environment um, quite engaged with just watching with just being there and if people don't engage with her she's happy moving along maybe at the most a curious nose um, but other than that she's been very good at just being able to maybe say hi from afar and keep on moving so let's go we might get to socialize around the child and the bike or bicycle 
Tana has already noticed them. She hears them. She sees them. The bike might be something odd. I'm not exactly sure what her experience is with them yet. I can't imagine it's anything bad. If she wants to sniff around, that's fine. She has frozen a little bit there, but is choosing to continue along with her sniffing. Wonderful. I couldn't ask for more. She acknowledged it and she decided to, oh, there you go, she acknowledged it again and she decided to move forward. So again, I don't know what her experience is with bikes or with kids and bikes. So we're going to reward that to make it so that turned out to be a positive experience no matter what her past is with them. Let's go. <laughs> a lot to socialize with today, Tana. And as you can see, I'm not getting too much of a smile from her today. Um, the last few sessions, uh, except maybe the last one where she was accompanied by two other dogs. And uh, that's actually something that can help with that. But um, the last few sessions, she's been a little bit out of the norm. She is growing. She's still very much a young pup, um, not even close to a year yet. So she is still young and, and developing and likely going through a fear period. So she's not giving me that happy-go-lucky behavior and, and demeanor that I know she has. And that is fine. Um, she's going through things. Nice pee there. She's still young, so any potty training that we see that we like, Tana, might be a little too late there, but it's still good. And I know she has already, she has already figured out potty training quite easily, but it won't hurt to give a treat there. Tana, let's go. But yeah, I'm not gonna get my happy luck, happy go lucky girl right now. But so long as she's feeling good, she's feeling okay, she's doing all right, she's moving forward. I will keep this walk rather short. It's the first one of the day today, and of course, we're adding a lot of social components to it on purpose. There's a baby over there in a stroller, I believe. They stopped just to give the baby some some attention. Yes, and she's quite distracted by. It. She's not pulling or anything. I think she's just curious. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to walk right past. More for them. I think Tana should be fine. Uh, but we'll give it a go. Tana, let's go. Over here. I know. You like smelling everything. So I'll keep the leash short. Over here, Tana. Good job. I know they're very interesting. Tana, find it. We'll still add in some fun games here and there for her. I know she also likes to grab things. She likes to grab whatever her nose takes her to. So instead of letting her do that, that is a behavior that I'm happy replacing with another. Like find it, find it. It's also a good way that I can get her to ignore something else if I really need to. Um, or if I know that she's going to have a tough time doing that on her own. Tana, find it. She did well there. She was attentive to, to the baby crying. Tana, let's move. But she did just fine. So we might just wrap it up here for now. And once we head out, we'll likely be going towards a park or we'll for sure be walking closer to, to dogs. And we'll either start with play so that she can get that um, neat met. Of course, she is young and she needs to play. That's really good for her. Um, and the, depending on the dogs, if there are dogs there that she can play with, we'll start with that. If not, we'll practice on socializing just the same way we did around kids. Tana, let's go. Where we just practiced walking past them or just being close to them. We might do something similar with dogs as much as we can. Tana, let's go.